Hello everybody, this is Iyad. Welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile. I am currently here in Clan War Selection. And... As you guys can see, having trouble actually picking out what I actually want to play here. This is a take control. You kill enemy in, in control 24-7. Each kill earns 10 points. Um, and there's this one that's also suggested. Uh, uh, it's a ranked or normal team deathmatch. I don't know which one I'm gonna try out, but I've gotta say this looks take control looks very uh interesting. Kill enemy in control twenty four seven. Control twenty four seven is the map. I take it. Yeah, that's right. Um, and it looks like they featured it for it's some kind of featured map, so it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It looks pretty interesting. And not to mention that I have a lot of monthly login talent, uh, 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 unclaimed rewards here. It's, it's crazy. Oh my word, I didn't expect this at all, but it kind of got sprung on me or something. I know, I didn't expect it at all. Um, mail? If you guys go to mail here, friend mail, I'm getting more rewards from friends. Like, um, the kind of awards you get from friends are usually the weapon XP and what that does is whatever weapon you use, save it, you get a weapon XP card for, um, the uh, Kylo 141, that's an assault rifle, then that means the level of the weapon will be increased. So, that's certainly cool. I mean, I can't complain about it. I don't know if you guys know about Borderlands, I always think about that game because that game is just story based and I love it. Borderlands is one of my favorite games. Um, I played it on Xbox One. I can't remember which Xbox One, but um, at the moment. But um, yeah, that is one of the best story games I've played. And with friends, I might add, you can play it co-op too. Give that game a try. And that's also a first-person shooter. Imagine I upload that on this channel. That would be certainly very interesting. Um, I've noticed with Call of Duty Mobile, it's not that you can preset the camera position. Because um, during the game, it always changes when from the menu to the game, the position, the ideal position of the camera always changes. So you have to be like adaptable in that, um, in that way. Because if you're not, then yeah, you will never have a. Uh, there's never one correct ideal position when it comes to Call of Duty Mobile. Capture, defend your, the object. So this is control. Capture, defend the object. This is gonna be interesting. As you guys can see, I no longer have access to the that other weapon, the D one, the D thirteen. Oh my word! That was good. I gotta say, flash jacket. package come on oh my god i have a thing that onto me now oh Boom! That's how it's done! That is protecting my capture point. Okay, now I need to protect myself and this current capture point right here. Aha! Uh -huh. Dead! Oh, as long as I'm in the objective, we need to point. Haha! <laughs> oh, take that! Take that! I'm really enjoying today for some reason. I don't know why. I never. I mean, there's days that I just play Call of Duty Mobile, I love it, but there's not days that I enjoy it. 
pull it. We win. Sorry, guys, about the camera moving and stuff. Cause I have to, since I'm holding the device, it's I have to play at the same time. As as you guys can see right now, I've got the flash drone. I have it to short to medium range. Uh, I mean, um, uh, weapons and heartbeat sensors on medium range and long range weapons. So that's how I worked it. Hopefully, it'll work out to distract him long enough. You know. Um, I can never say for sure. Anyway, let me take. Ah, need some. Hmm. Okay, I guess I will just continue on this little quest. is um with a three portal capture coil capture point so if you stay in it and then There, so I had to get out. I know that. I would say I love this drone. Oh, I would have gotten a kill there. Two. There we go. We must. Oh wow. There you have it guys, most vicious players, me! Wow, this is a good match. Um, yeah guys, use this, um, you definitely use, um, my perks, score streak, and weapon, uh, set with attachments, and attachment set, use all the, uh, what I'm using right now for, um, 
for control 24-7. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I must say my performance wasn't that bad in this one. I got 2,906 points. Control isn't bad. That's the point of this. And this is the kind of loadout that you would want to use. This is the complete loadout that works. I mean, this is against our other clan. So, as you guys see right there, what do you see there? 25 kills. That is a clear indicator that it does work. Because, um... That score streaks, as you guys saw there, I used all three of my score streaks. I used the care package, I used that sentry gun, I used to, go, to protect that objectives, which is the, the capture location, and from the enemy, not just that, and I also used, a, on multiple occasions, that MQ-27 Dragonfire, so that drone and all of that, that has the ability also to lock onto their position. So, I've got a pretty solid, um, well-rounded, um thing going here yeah, for control you guys must check this out um so if you guys ever feel that you that uh control is not fun then yeah now uh, this shows that it really is good and you should try and and, and you should um uh, know that also this specific aids the aids wo really works um and with this specific ta attachment set not with um the ammunition i don't know if you guys saw before i had this equipped um, where it actually reduces, as you guys can see on the right, it reduces the mobility. Don't do that. Rather, um, keep it unequipped. That's what I did. And as you guys can see, this, oh my word, I can still further equip. I have a available attachment slot or something like that. So, for minus 15% reload time, I don't take that long to reload. Which means that won't make much of a difference. I mean, it's on a percentage basis. So, bullet penetration is my only other choice here. I mean... It's always about making the best possible choice of selection, and then just ab ab completely obliterating those people in um in in control or in any really clan uh in in, in any really clan clan war. So that's what it's really about. But I, what I also another thing is in my in my um uh loadout that I've changed other than use the using the age. You guys saw I got twenty five kills. I'm using FHJ eighteen. That is very important because, as you guys saw, I'm not using this anymore. I was stuck with the wrong weapon. This was the wrong launcher. This was the right one. Using this, this is like a rocket launcher. So, this is a one-shot kill. Doesn't matter uh, uh, what... You can be a level 150 player. This will still take you out. Um, and... Uh, I also used... was I also were using the flash drone. As you guys saw, I unlocked it. Which is interesting because... Um, as you guys saw, it's a fast deployment, um, with, uh, usually the short to medium range weapons are, have lower amounts of, usually the short to medium range weapons have lower amounts of, um, how do I say? No, they don't have lower amounts of low mobility compared to the medium or long range, because they usually have lower amounts, but they are usually sometimes, they sometimes heavy weapons, so they... They don't allow you to run very quickly or something like that. And and in terms of covering the range around you, when you have a short or uh, sh medium to short range or short to medium range weapon, you want to cover, I mean, you want to cover, um, you, you, if you have a long range weapon, you want to cover the, the, the shorter range around you with the heartbeat sensor, but the flash drone is better used not with the long range weapons, that's my point here. So if you have a sniper, don't use the flash drone because that's when you actually need this heartbeat sensor as a tactical. Otherwise, how are you gonna know what's happening right in, right in your vicinity? You are vulnerable. That's what I'm trying to say. As a sniper, you are vulnerable to short range attacks. So if you're going up against a guy with a pistol and you got a sniper, if you miss with that pistol, with that sniper, that guy with the pistol will take you out. So don't do that. But my point is, yeah, I am only using the flash round to 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 um distract the enemies with the loaded other than the medium and long range uh, weapons which is snipers assault rifles stuff like that that are medium range but um as you guys saw so, so today that Kylo that 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 um LMG I was using sorry the AIDS LMG that is not the medium range weapon 
So that's certainly interesting. As you guys can see, it really works. Because if I did have a heartbeat sensor, this is it's actually got to do with a heartbeat sensor because um, you are not vulnerable at close range anymore like you are with the sniper or something like that. You should rather have access to the flash drone and then distract them so you can take them out. Uh, in terms of long range play, you can also shoot long range with this weapon. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So it doesn't matter that much. It's all about covering your vulnerabilities in the midst of a battlefield. So as much as possible and not making the really really poor decision. So that's basically what I've come up with. But so huge developments today. The FHJ-18 really really works. The AIDS works for control. Uh, I got 25 kills and that's not even all from that weapon. That's from the score streaks. That's from the operator skill. That's from the tactical and lethal. You guys saw there. That's from all that. And also plus there's multiple times I could have died from. Um, um, I don't know though that. Um. I could have died from the thermite and cocktail, but yeah, that perk helps to to keep me alive here. That uh, it's like a flag check. It's like a armor gives you armor against it, and the recon also uh, helps determine location, so it's also good. Um, and this allows me to just uh, spawn with an extra piece of tactical, which I'm really thankful for. So good. That's very good. Anyway, guys, I really wanna uh, close off the video. Uh, ending off off. On with that note, um, I hope you guys um, um, you see some vital um, vital advice there with uh, control and um, also what that what works in your loadout uh, in that's uh, you know uh, what whether the flash drone works with a specific uh, long or short range loadout um, and why I chose it. So this is all about why I chose the flash drone with uh, the specific. Um, a specific uh, uh, attach uh, like loadout uh, set so yeah that's what it's all about what I'm getting is that this works um, but when you go to a sniper yeah, it's not gonna work because a sniper is long range so that I chose the heartbeat sensor I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to choose it best uh, possible I'm trying to choose it the best possible way I can but um, yeah other than the basics that's the best I can do the only thing that's really different between these two is the fact that one is a short medium range uh, weapon and the other one is long range. Um, and they have different uh, tacticals too. That's the only thing that's different. So anyway, that's it for this video. Um, in control there, uh, it's certainly very interesting. Uh, it reminds me of similar game modes such as Domination. Um, so this... Um, so Flash Drone really works. Can It can really save you. Um, D13 sector has been replaced because what's something even better I've got a rocket launcher in, in I got a rocket launcher in um, within that launcher category and the hades anyway guys that's it for this video I hope you guys um, were informed and hope you guys hope to catch you guys on the next video like subscribe this is Yad goodbye